Welcome to the demo on Google Analytics event tracking through Google Tag Manager version 2. Who should watch this demo? This demo will be useful if you are a marketer or analyst or web developer and you are responsible for deploying marketing and analytics codes to your website or also deploying Google Analytics regular page view tracking or Google Analytics event tracking. This demo will not provide a from scratch introduction to Google Tag Manager, but let's take a quick look at some of the benefits of GTM. First and foremost, GTM allows for faster deployment of marketing and analytics codes to your website, and it puts control of that process in the hands of marketers and analysts. It allows everyone to more easily keep track of the codes that have been deployed. After all, it is called a tag management system and it allows you to more easily modify and delete tags. Google Tag Manager also allows you to configure very specific triggers that determine where and when and under what conditions a tag fires. And also the repeatability of the tag management system allows you to enforce data consistency while at the same time the flexibility that the variables and that the data layer provide are also a great feature of Google Tag Manager. We will get into some of those more advanced features in greater detail throughout the demo. Prerequisites, you already know the basics of Google Analytics event tracking, and you are also familiar with Google Tag Manager version one or version two. For an introduction or a refresher on event tracking and GTM, check out our previous demo on the Enor blog. Let's go ahead and check out the new Google Tag Manager interface. To access the GTM version 2 interface, we are going to go specifically to the Tag Manager subdomain, tagmanager.google.com. So if we go to google.com Tag Manager, the old interface, if we go to tagmanager.google.com, we're going to see the new interface. Any new accounts that you create from this new interface will use GTM v2 functionality. And you can also migrate GTM v1 accounts to GTM v2 by using the Migration Assistant. Any account that is not migrated by June 1st of 2015 will be migrated automatically to GTM version 2. Much of the event tracking that we need to implement in Google Analytics has to do with links that don't go to other regular pages on our website, such as off-site links or PDF links or mail to links. So we are going to look at two different approaches to event tracking in GTM in this demo. The first approach is going to be setting up one tag that will track one link type. Let's go ahead and set up a new account we'll call the account my company and we'll set up a new container we're going to be testing on Google Analytics test.com so that will be our container name terms of service install the container code on each page of our website we're gonna go ahead and create the main Google Analytics page view tracker Call it Google Analytics Page Views, Universal Analytics. Now we're going to go ahead and get the property ID, the tracking ID from the property settings. We're going to go ahead and copy that. Go back to Google Tag Manager. Now we could paste this in, but since we are going to reuse this UA number, we're instead going to create a variable in Google Tag Manager. Variable is the new name for macro in Tag Manager and we're going to create a constant, a string constant. Call it UA number. Go ahead and paste in the UA number, our property ID. And now we have a variable created. We'll enable display advertising features for the demographics and interest reports and make sure to update our privacy policy as well. Tag type page view, continue. Fire on all pages. Triggers are the new rules in Google Tag Manager. So there we have our main page view tracker. Now before we create our first event tag, we're going to enable the click URL built-in variable. We're gonna go ahead and create our first event tag now. 
we'll click on new tag we'll call it Google Analytics PDF event tracker we'll track PDFs in our first tag universal analytics we'll go ahead and pull in our UA number variable track type is event category will hard code link action will hard code PDF and for label we're going to pull in our click URL variable that we enabled now in GTM v2 we do not have to set up a separate link click listener we're just going to go ahead and select click as the trigger some clicks and we're going to use our click URL variable here as well click URL ends with dot PDF we'll go ahead and save the new trigger and then save the new tag so we're going to go ahead and go into preview and debug mode and we're going to switch over to our test page we're going to click a PDF link and we have downloaded Aladdin's popular optimizing your shopping cart ebook and we're going to check out our real-time events report and there is our Google Analytics event delivered from Google Tag Manager the event tag that we just configured is of course very useful because it will track all PDF links but we would need to set up an equivalent tag for different types of links such as zip downloads or off-site links so now we are going to set up two tags that will track many different types of links we're going to create one tag to populate the data layer with event parameters we are going to create variables to read the event parameters in from the data layer and then we are going to create one event tag that will track all of the different link types let's go ahead and take a look at the data layer script that comes from Ahmed at Enor we will look specifically at the small parts of the script that we need to customize and the script will be available for download on the GA demos page for this demo first customization is to specify the domain that the container will be deployed to if you want to add different file types to track you can add them to the following line and in the line after that add your social connect URLs your Facebook page your Twitter page so forth we've deleted our previous PDF event tracker let's start now by creating the tag to populate the data layer with tag type custom HTML tag custom HTML tag will allow us to enter any open-ended script that Google Tag Manager does not provide a template for so we'll go ahead and name our tag custom HTML tag and we are going to paste in our data layer script so we'll go over copy that paste it in now for the firing trigger we are going to select more and then we are going to define a new trigger and that trigger is going to be based on a custom event we are going to say fire on GTM DOM GTM DOM is a special built-in event that Google Tag Manager provides and what GTM DOM means is that all of the HTML on the page has been parsed so we can start manipulating the HTML in the page in this case we are adding our data layer variables to the link HTML on the page as another important note when we're looking at custom event trigger types in Google Tag Manager this has nothing to do directly with a Google Analytics event type tag Google Tag Manager events could be used to fire tags for any type of tag independent of Google Analytics now once the data layer script is loaded it is providing instructions to populate the data layer with Google Analytics category and event and label data that we are going to read into our Google Analytics event tag the script also populates the data layer with an event variable that we are going to use as our Google Tag Manager trigger so this is a little bit confusing because the first piece of data relates directly to the Google Tag Manager trigger the event value event category event action event label are specific to Google Analytics and here's another example when you click on a PDF link we are going to populate the data layer with 
event category action label values that we see here. You could replace the category and action values with any value that made sense for you for the event label. You're pretty much always going to want to use the asset that you're linking to. So we'll go ahead and set up our actual event tag that's going to work with the data layer tag. So we'll call it Google Analytics Event Template Universal Analytics. We're going to pull in our UA number variable, track type, event. Now we're going to go ahead and set up three variables, three data layer variables to read in our category action and label data. So we'll call the first variable event category. Event cat, this is the data layer name that we use, so that's important, that has to match up. New variable, data layer variable, event action, again event, capital A lowercase ct is what matches the data layer variable, so that is important that that matches exactly. And same thing for event label. This is what we populated into the data layer when we clicked on the link. And this is the value that we are going to read in event capital L lowercase b lowercase l. For fire on. Now this is where we are going to use our event value that we populated into the data layer. In all instances, the event value that we populated was event tracker. So that is the value that we are going to supply here for our trigger. I'm going to go ahead and save the trigger. Create the tag. And we should be good. So we are going to refresh the preview. And we are going to refresh our test page as well. Now we haven't really looked at the tag display at the bottom of the debugger, but we can see that the Google Analytics page view tag has already fired and the data layer populator tag has already fired as well because the GTM DOM event fired. Now notice that the Google Analytics event template tag has not fired on this page because we have not yet pushed the event tracker event value, the event tracker Google Tag Manager event value, into the data layer. That will happen when we click one of the links. So we'll test this out. We're going to click on our ebook link, PDF downloaded. Now we see that the event template tag has fired. If we click over to data layer, we could see that the Google Analytics category data layer variables have been populated. If we click over to the variables tab, we could see that the variables have been populated. And if we go over to the Google Analytics real-time events report, we could see that the event has fired. Now let's check out the same event configuration for our outbound link. If we look at the data layer display, we can see the data layer variables have been populated. If we look at our variables, we could see that our variables have been populated. And if we check out the real-time report, we could see that our Google Analytics event has fired and is displaying. Now, don't be intimidated if this seems a little bit confusing. It's normal for this not to make full sense until you start experimenting on your own. So go ahead and download the files that we have available on the GA Demos page and let us know if you have any questions. Hope this was helpful.